you asked me what are the five great pieces ever written, the creation would come certainly in the top five, if not the top one. I think it is one of the greatest pieces ever written by anybody for anything. And the fact that Haydn decided, having heard Messiah, ooh, I could write a, a big uh, oratorio too, um, but his handle has taken the subject of, of Messiah, so what else could I do? Oh, I know, how about the creation? <laughs> that small subject. Um, and with the help of his wonderful librettist, Baron Van Sweet, who uh, wrote, uh, prepared the text for him about how they all look big, the world came into being. He set down, set out to write this extraordinary work of of the progress from chaos into um, human contact and human behaviour via everything in between. And as one would expect with Haydn, it has everything. It it has narrative and therefore drama. It has brilliant description and colour and orchestration. Uh, and I think what I love about it most of all is that he clearly believed every word of it. Um, that he, he was a creationist, as everybody was in those days, um, and that he really believed that God said, now we're going to have light, and now we're going to have a sea, and now we're going to have fish. And, and he just um, attacked that, that whole uh, process of putting that in, into music with such relish and such passion and such sincerity. And so we begin with, I think, one of the most extraordinary passages in, in any oratorio, uh, the representation of chaos. And I think this, and I've said this before, but I think this possibly relates back to his string quartet evenings with Mozart uh, 15 or 20 years earlier. Uh, because it was Mozart who wrote a slow introduction to a C major quartet in which he pulled the, the tonality apart with such distinction and heart-rending uh, sort of emotion and then pulled it back together again and did it again and again and again and then just exploded into something glorious in C major and that quartet is now called the Dissonance Quartet I think that, that that sowed a seed in Haydn's mind and you know, a decade and a half later he represents chaos on a much bigger scale, not just four st string players, but a whole orchestra where uh, you actually sometimes don't even know where the first beat of the bar is, let, let alone what key you're in. It's a, it is an extraordinary, almost surreal musical experience and, I th and as a conductor I would say that this is quite the hardest part of creation to do. But having established this chaos, and then the voice comes um, to say that in the beginning God created, etc., etc., and then we move towards let there be light, and there was light, and that great, huge C major chord, which should certainly wake up those who've been nodding through chaos, and then on we go into the whole joyful process of creation. And there is wit. I mean, when we get to the animals and the worm and, uh, and all that, there are so many of Haydn's jokes. What wonderful orchestration, as we say. Um, and again, the narrative and the feeling that one is building this, creating this universe. And then, of course, the last part, uh, the story of Adam and Eve. And they, they don't actually fall, but he uh, says at the end, you know, it, it might happen that, that we fall. I mean, he just leaves it sort of open. And so there's the huge human element as well. I, it's a, an enormous piece. 
it's one of the most fulfilling pieces to sing, to play and to conduct and I think also 